What's up everybody, this is Croat Code, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to make your very own YouTube banner and logo. This is going to help spice your channel up, and the cool part about it is it's completely free. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to a website called panzoid.com tools. I have a link in the description, you guys can go ahead and click on that. But once you guys are here, click on the background or three. Now what you guys are going to do is you're going to see all these options. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start from scratch, but what you guys are going to do is click on basics. Now from here, you guys, where it says type, you can pick uh, YouTube one, which is basically a YouTube banner. You can pick YouTube channel avatar, which is your logo. You can even pick YouTube thumbnails and even Twitter and Facebook covers. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with YouTube channel avatar, which is our logo. From here, we're gonna go ahead and click on layer one. You guys can upload an image. You guys can uh, insert a preset texture or even generate an image. We're gonna go ahead and uh, insert a texture slash pattern. And from here, Pick a texture that you like. You guys have a bunch of options. I'm going to go ahead and pick on this texture because it has a smooth look to it. And honestly, it looks great. So once you guys find your texture, you guys can even click on uh, overlays. And from here, you guys can add a radial from center, which is basically gives you a radial. Basically uh, gives shadows on corners, which looks nice. Now it's time for some text. Click on text plus images and click on a text box right here. Add text. Click on sprite one. And where it says Panzoid, you guys are going to go ahead and put your channel name. Mine is Croat Code and hit enter. Now you guys are going to see that the text looks pretty boring. So we're going to go ahead and find an awesome text. If you scroll down, you guys are going to see a text called Basica. This text looks really, really good. And honestly, it fits well on most banners and logos. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and uh, scroll down. And where it says text border, you can turn it on. And uh, you can up the thickness, which basically has like a stroke to it. And we can even turn on text shadow. And where it says blur, you can go ahead and up that up. Where it says 10, you can go ahead and put 50. And you guys can see like a little drop shadow there. Now, what if you want to change the color of your uh, logo? What do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. What you guys got to do is basically go ahead and click on uh, basics again. And where it says background color, go ahead and pick any color you want. I'm going to go ahead and pick a nice blue. Just like that. Now you guys can see that the shadows are blue. So what you guys got to do is go ahead and uh, click back into layer one. And where it says layer opacity, go ahead and turn it down. And you guys are going to see that it's going to match with the shadows. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave everything the way it was how when it was black. Because honestly, I prefer that more. So I'm going to leave it the way it was and click OK. Now once you guys are satisfied with your logo, click on download your background. And click download again. And it's going to download your background. Now that you guys got your uh, background downloaded, we're going to go ahead and click refresh once you're satisfied. And now make your banner. So go ahead and click back on basics. On channel type, make sure it's on YouTube 1. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Now when you guys make your banner, you want to make sure that it matches your logo. That way everything looks consistent and the same. And it's going to look fantastic. Alright, so let's go back on layer 1. And uh, insert a pattern. And find the same texture we were using earlier. Now I'll click back into text plus images. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put Croat code, my channel name, all in caps, and find the same font, which is Basica. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and up the font size to about 140. Or actually, no, 130. That's good. Alright, now we can go ahead and add another text where it says Sprite 2. Click that, and you guys can uh, add any text you guys want. Now, I have a website. I can go ahead and put my website. So, I'm going to go ahead and put www.crowhasit.com. And I'm going to pick the Bebo's font, a different font. Click on Spike 2. And basically, move it around. All right. Now, my crowhasit.com font is pretty big. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shrink the size. Where it says font size, I'm going to go ahead and put 30. Or actually, 45. There you go. Now I'm going to add one more text. And I'm going to type in subscribe and hit enter. All right. Now, there's a cool font that looks like a scanning bar. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And again, move it around just like that. And that's basically it. When you guys are satisfied with your banner, again, make sure you click download your background. Click download again. And it's going to save everything. And there you go. That's all you guys got to do. So when you go ahead and click on it, you guys can see that I have my logo saved. And I even have my... Uh, banner save and that's it. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this tutorial helped spice up your channel, and I really hope that this really helped you guys out. Later in the future, I'm going to show on how to make even better logos and banners with Photoshop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, drop a like below, and I'll see you guys next time.